All right, hello everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, today's video is going to be uh, a little interesting, I think, my opinion. I got a mess in the back of the truck. Don't pay attention to that. So I've actually wanted to do this for a while. Um, we'll have some pauses, and this is something that I haven't tried. I don't know. If, I mean, it's probably been tried before, uh, so it's nothing, nothing crazy. But I wanted to try it with this, with our camper. So what I'm trying to do right now is I got the truck hooked up. Uh, this is a Pro Power on board option truck, uh, as you've seen some of the videos before. So I'm actually trying to connect it to the RV. And I'm gonna try and do some testing, uh, just for, you know, for for scientific purposes. Uh, this is not for fun. Don't try it at home, kids. Uh, we're gonna have a few pauses. Probably, I don't edit a lot of my videos. This is just, you know, just a fun thing to do for me. So um, I just want to try a couple things out and see what happens. So I'd like to connect it, connect the camper to the truck. Uh, this camper is actually a Grand Design 2800 BH. Uh, it actually has two air conditioning units. So the camper is actually wired and rated for 50 amp. So I got the 50 amp cord, which is that massive thing back there that's super heavy. To deal with connected to the back of the truck here um, i have put my epo my ems plus epo which is a power watchdog highly recommend it i should probably do a review on it it's fantastic uh eps with bluetooth and you know it has a power meter and things like that it'll tell you how many kilowatts you're consuming especially when connected to the house so that's really nice to have um so i have connected my epo and the reason for that is because i'm going to try and see if i can um, make the microwave work and maybe the AC, who knows? Uh, and the EPO will protect me from, you know, having any weirdness, right? If the truck were to drop power or something like that, uh, the EPO should protect me from that. So that's going to be that. Um, so it's a 50 amp EPO EMS connected to a 50 to 30 dog bone over there in the front. And then I have a 30 to 20 dog bone also connected to the truck. Um, you know, like I said, we're just going to do a little bit of testing. I'm not going to stress it on i'm not trying to trip any 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 breakers or whatever i think this truck i don't know if it has any emergency i think it has some emergency uh turn offs switches that it'll do on its own but we'll see and then there's a there's a power meter inside the truck as well that will tell us what's going on so let's uh let's get over there I, actually let's not cut it i'm not gonna cut it this is raw on edit that's how i like to do things too lazy to edit stuff so let's just go there and turn this thing on so start the truck first Um, and then actually I'm gonna start it from the back. So, okay, so the truck's idling, keys are inside, so that's great. I'm gonna start it from the back because I want to see when the EPO comes on. The RV already has power in it because it's got 12 volt connected, it's got the battery on. So the EPO is off right now. This actually lights up and we should get some letters in here when it's coming up. So we're actually gonna go on. Uh, let's see, this is turned off right now. It's flashing. Yep, this switch is on. Let's turn that on. Truck should start idling high, maybe? No? Okay, maybe it does not like us today. Engine will run in power power to power outlet. All right, hold on. Let's go inside and see if it's giving us any messages. Right, of course, there's a podcast going on right now, so let's stop that. All right. <laughs> Uh, Pro Power detected a ground fault and turned off affected circuit. Uh, okay, so it needs to be ground a bonded plug. Well, that's great. Um, yeah, it's not gonna work. Well, now we know. So this is something that's uh, failure. You know, I consider that a failure, uh, probably a live failure. Uh, I'm gonna upload this as is. Roast me in the comments. So I didn't know this, and now we know. I guess it has to be a bonded plug. This is the same thing that happens with the generator because we're going from, you know, uh, we're using those dog bones. We probably have to have a grounded plug, and I don't have one at hand, so I probably can't do this today. But hey, I tried, and I'm just going to put it in the comments and, you know, le lesson learned. Thank you for tuning in.